Anyways, what? I'm what looking. At, what are you looking at? I'm looking at the new Batman suit. Yeah, how is it? <laughs> it's fine. I like it. Yeah, Looks, I don't like. You can't that, even see. I don't it. like that it doesn't it's have all a bottom. Red and stuff. You don't, yeah, he likes his bottoms. You don't like like that. this <laughs> part isn't covered. He has, it shows. Chest. He's wearing it shows his chest. stern. Yeah, jaw but that line. seems like a very easy way to figure out a person. So just, is the fact that Bruce Wayne literally disappears every fucking time Batman shows up. But just put a scar on that face, and then you know who it is. Look, we're talking about a that world works also for the small bit. If we're you talking like, about a world lip where open, you also the most know. famous superhero just puts on glasses, and everybody's like, "Yes, that's not him." About there's Welcome eye, to the eyebrows. Comic Burrito. I'm Todd. I'm, I'm Cole. I'm Nick. And also, it's Comic Burrito, not the. I'm sorry. I put a It's not the. There. We're supposed to remind you. But yeah. sometimes we wrap a the in it. Yeah, we wrap a the in it. It's like the salsa. Wrap sometimes it's spicy. Sometimes yeah. it's not. Sometimes it's the. Sometimes it's not. It should be spicy. I mean, I agreed. Welcome to Spicy Comic Burrito, <laughs> a podcast. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is one we've had a few beers. Yep. We're four in. It's our fourth episode, so Harley Quinn show. You got me hooked on it. It's amazing. Should we watch it? You right need now? to watch it. Yeah, let's just film the rest of the time as <laughs> the us watching rest of the time the show. And but making commentary to for it. For copyright, we'll put it you know yeah, out of out camera. Of your, so you and then can't we'll see use it. headphones so we'll, we also we'll you just can be us watch going. us react to it. <laughs> <laughs> that shark guy's hilarious. Uh, it's funny because he's King Shark. Who do you <laughs> but he's also tech support. But he's yeah, but he's IT. Uh Who's your favorite person on it? I I think I've laughed the hardest when Robin showed up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And that, was, it, that was funny. Is it a spoiler to say like what Robin's tendency is? I don't think I doubt no, it. No, I don't think it, so. So everyone is played so well in this show as a like very it's very aware of itself it's very and of itself. it's very um making fun of itself mm -hmm. i don't know if there's a term for that but uh so robin is like this prepubescent like little like he shows up he's like hi guys oh boy I'm like oh boy yeah i'm, I'm, gonna gonna I'm robin you. let's fight yeah. kind of a thing yep. and it's just it's just so good because yeah. Robin's always, especially because it's Damien. It's Damien. It's oh, Damien of all. Specifically, so yeah, Damien is so angry though. I know that's why it's <laughs> so good because he shows he's up just wanting a to fight, teen. wanting to fight Harley, and he's just like, "Come on!" Yep. and everyone's like, "Stop!" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I I would probably. What do you awesome. What do you think? Uh, King Shark makes me laugh. Bane is really good almost too. all the time, and Bane's hilarious. Rush! I'm going to blow it up. <laughs> Everyone is so good. Poison Ivy is Poison great. Ivy is amazing. It's it's incredible because like Harley is great, but her supporting cast is so good. Yeah. She almost gets outshined in her own yeah. series <laughs> because like she weirdly <clears throat> enough Harley has to be like the stable person that like pulls through. So, Sometimes, you know, but no, I mean, in terms of I character, think Poison like Ivy she, is like the most grounded, yeah. responsible. No, in terms of character, but in terms of like who they are and how they yeah, act and moving yeah. the story forward, sure. Harley always has to have like a mission or something in front of her, whereas everyone else is kind of like free balling it. Yeah. So, like, they get to almost have more fun where yeah. Harley has to be like more like, this is the thing I'm trying to do, and, and then they all are having fun with it. Um, Psy. Is hilarious. And kite Man. And Kite oh, Man. I mean, I mean, I've seen four minutes of the show, the and it was all Kite Man. Kite Man. Kite Man and his and Harley Quinn. And his relationship is hilarious. I, I love it. I loved Kite, Kite, Man. Kite, Man, Kite Man in, in oh, yeah. sixty-nine. Oh, the, the voice. Kite Man. Nice. That voice is not the voice that I imagine. Oh, it's not. In my that's head not what's in my head either. Uh, that's nope. kind of what is I it really? might have. Kind of, I mean, it's just like. Kite Man, hell yeah! Like yeah, that's what I pictured. Like but Kite Man, hell his yeah! Whole, like, I always imagine like Kite Man, hell yeah! I kind of imagine uh, like he's always seemed there. more serious to me before, but like funny that he's so serious because he's so silly. Yeah, but now like in Harley Quinn, he is he's like frat boy. Yeah. yeah, he's a like, he's a bro. Yeah, yeah, he's, total bro. It's, Why he's a he be? bro? Because it seems like a guy who predicates himself on kite powers yeah needs to almost take himself too seriously to for it to make sense in the comics can i say because one up against batman and batgirl a guy on a kite it needs to be kind of a badass but when you put him into a cartoon and he's not doing things 
he can just be a bro and just like this frat guy because he can just be hilarious because it's just a dude with a fucking gun. Yeah, I know. But, but he was such an in, he was just such an important part in King's story too. Yeah, yeah. And they had that whole serious thing with his kid and everything. Yep. I'll keep that spoiler free because it was. Beautiful. What? The oh, Ballad okay. of Kite Man. I just yeah. and it, the, at this the point, if you haven't read this and an know impact, that. Yeah, I guess that's true. If you're true. watching this and you well, haven't, I mean, who are you? Yeah. You, should, you, should read, you should go watch. If, if you hate Tom King, what? War of Jokes and Riddle, and the Battle of Kite or Ballad just, of Kite Man, yeah, are just, great. Must we can all agree. agree must read. Yep, must own. For sure. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's, that's great. top five favorite Batman story. For yeah. Me. Yeah. Well, it's it's my top one favorite Kite Man story. <laughs> Mine's Harley Quinn. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's great. He's great. Um, the uh, who's the little uh, Psycho? 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 Doctor Psycho or Cap? What's his name? Is it just Psycho? It's Psych- Doctor Psycho. Doctor Psycho. Is he Psycho? like? Uh, is do either of you guys play Borderlands? Yeah. Is he like the little guys from that? That's what you just said, oh. a little guy. So I just assumed he's like, ah! Um, uh, Claptrap? No, not the Claptrap. So like... Oh, the uh, mini psychos? I don't know what they call the like he... littler guy. Like, Yeah, yeah. You're and trying the... not to use yeah. the M word? Yep. Hilarious. The little person yes. in the Borderlands, which is hilarious to use political, they have a, they have a... political correctness for... <laughs> They have a Borderlands because like, yeah. Borderlands couldn't be less political. But they actually have like a specific name <laughs> yes, for they those do. guys, and I don't know what. Um, it's no, it's not like he's in like a full three, like a suit with a tie. Okay, and he's but he's got an. He just was like doing one of those. But so he's, I'm just he's super a tiny. Guy. He is. He's really small. And his first heist. That's part is, of the. He's only part, a of, part the of the first heist. That's part of because the he's really small, even though he's a telepath with. Huge powers, insane, yeah. insane, evil amazing powers. powers, and they're like, "No, we need you to climb in this bed." Yeah, you have to get this bed. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one that would fit in here. <laughs> so good, it is. I mean, I feel like there's, like, and he's so angry. That has happened and... before in like comics too, where it's like, and I, he says, <laughs> I, was, I like, I wonder if I can find a bleep so that I can actually say the word and then I can do it just like he does. Oh, when he, he calls Wonder Woman a. C- yeah. I'm gonna find out how to use a bleep. It, although, <laughs> although in, <laughs> in the show itself, which is hard R. Oh, they, and hard they use R. Fuck all the time. All the time. They bleep. Yeah, out. they bleep out <laughs> that nice. word. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's like they drew the line there, which is probably is probably he saying Australian or American? Just American. No, no. Because it's yeah. not. Oh, yeah. mate. Yeah. Oh, you cheeky. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, if, uh, like that. if Boomerang, Captain Boomerang, oh! shows up, I would love that. How is he Boomerang is not a part of this? He's perfect. For I mean, that he show. is a Flash Rogue sort of. Also. I mean, dude, yeah, I, I yeah, guess but, it's a Suicide. But Bane's squad. in it's it. Suicide Squad. And Bane's in it. Scarecrow's in it. Penguin's in it. Well, those Mr. are all Batman rogues. Oh, Penguin, and Penguin's wife. Uh, uh, Mrs. Mrs. Cobblepot. Not... <laughs> yes, Mrs. Mrs. <laughs> the Bar Mrs. Giving out gift bags. Yeah, it's so Thanks good. for coming. <laughs> oh, it's so good. You. You need to watch the show. I mean, I will. Yeah, I just am too late. Do it now. Right I want to have it. Well, wait. Oh. Once again, there's Call only like nine I'll hours. Get you, I'll get you on my Plex <laughs> server, and you can watch well, it. <laughs> I would weirdly say, when it comes to comic book subscription services, mm. there seems like it should be the best. I have zero. I mean, I used to do Comixology. I did the first like free month. I did, I did the and free I hated month it because, it. because you get that month. first free thing. It's I mean, not a good, it's not a good reader either. It's, on top of it, no, Just it's terrible. I was you a terrible know, reader. Comixology is a good reader. No, I don't is like DCU it. Is DCU reader good? Yes, I like the Comixology DCU. when it comes to like splitting in the little things. Like they can, like when you're trying to look, like when you're on your phone, Comixology is great because you can click in on the one panel whereas like if you just have like a pdf of it you can't do that right no dcu can do that there's also a play mode where you can watch it on your tv and it will like time out and just play your comic book and you can just sit back and that enjoy sounds it. kind of tight it's pretty cool Quite. um but it also has that where the like hoopla where you can double tap and go panel by panel i forgot hoopla ads i never use it because hoopla just is one of my full, favorite the, and i just have to turn it sideways yeah. when it's a double thing yep i've done pdf comics before well, and it's like it's I, they're just not so rated. if you've ever if you've ever like done a humble bundle they just send you a pdf yep. that's and uh, like and that's the thing the thing that sucks do that, is then. the basic pdf reader on that the fire is straight garbage you can't like if you were to close it and then reopen it, 
it would go back to the first page. D and D books are literally why I got my first e reader. It was terrible. I like. I was so big... excited. I was like, "It's gonna work," and it's like this little screen, and I'm like flipping through. I'm like, D and D Beyond did, makes it better, I but I work. own the copies. No, me too. I've got a. Yeah. Anyways, the D and D fan cast. Oh yeah, yeah just I'm still looking Nick's, at Batman. Nick's I'm, just <laughs> Nick's just checking out as soon as we talk so about excited. anything that he's I'm not like, at all talking about. I'm like, about. is there anything new he's about just, Batman? But he's also on his phone talking about Batman suit. Like, like they're library. gonna put more out in the next hour. He might. You think they're gonna release more than a look? No, at they're thing? not. That's it. I mean, look at how many pre what you look, see what, metals. Hold up. They haven't, but here's somebody that has taken yeah, the red out. Red out. Okay, yeah, yeah. So nice. I just want. But is it gonna look? I like also that? am curious why you have Ivy and. I didn't Marley. have that. Did somebody tweet why, why? Why are you? Does Ivy have arm No, oh, it's, no. It's I movie. didn't Sorry. tweet that. I don't he's know. looking. I feel at, like I, I like, mean, might have it. I have better. I can at, find you better pictures. He's looking than that at erotic you. pictures of Harley and Poison Ivy. Just this is he's from, just interested uh, in our D and D talk. We'll edit this part out, but also like I won't. This is someone complaining about Harley and Ivy not being a couple, which I think is dumb, anyways. Yeah, they're just besties. Why can't they just? Why can't they just? They were a couple. Pose like that with you all the time. They were a couple though. Why can't they just be really good friends who have pillow fights in? their underwear but yeah, they also work like oh. any other best friend like any uh, like like women do yeah and also yeah. what we do off camera when we're like in between what we do shots it's why just you what you I do with sweaty. friends like what, yeah. it's just friends <laughs> It's why I'm sweaty every time we start. It's, it's not because shooting. I'm fat. No. It's just because it's we've been we pillow just fighting. got done pillow fighting. Yeah, and posing ghost style <laughs> behind each other. <laughs> Nick always gets our KO'd. Yes. <laughs> every time. Out of nowhere. Every Out of time. nowhere. Every time. What are you going to do? Uh, yeah, so watch the Harley show. Um, what other... Okay. We'll segue this into something we can all at least yeah. attribute to, and then we'll we'll be done with this because this was... A show. Um, and it has to end at some point. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sure it's devastating. Um, what is your favorite animated TV show that's comic book themed? <laughs> themed. Keep it loose. Yeah, I mean, Batman. Anima okay. And Batman animated series. Can we just... Or, like, Beyond? How about, let's just... I mean, say, granted, okay, I have not seen a lot. Like, I've been re-watching it. They used to have it on Amazon. We watch all the animated series. series. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking about it's on DCU. Done. You want to watch it right now? Well, I don't. Yeah. Once again, <laughs> sorry, you're going to. I know we just got done with Harley, but now it's going to be another eight hours. <laughs> I, I mean, that I love that as a kid. The one thing I also really liked, and I think I might have liked it more than Batman at the time, was X Men. Nice. But yeah, I think X Men, X -Men, X -Men, X -Men, X -Men does not age <laughs> nearly as well. Snicked. You know, I thought that I loved X Men <laughs> growing up, and I've tried to rewatch some of it. <laughs> well, it's because it's made I for kids. I have not been able to get into it. But I can rewatch Batman. Yeah, but Batman's also good, well written. It's also good. <laughs> like, that's, that's the difference. Good. Like, like, they like, didn't think about that when they were doing the X Men. They're, show they were like oh needs to be good well but that's the thing good oh. for a kid is much different than good for an adult like in so perfect reference so really you've just lost your inner child and that's, that's well like one of my, one of my co has, has been reading <laughs> might have been lost for you oh, i think the animated series was well written okay. and is good now whereas i think the x-men was just stuff made for kids in the 90s Okay. Here's I'll some action that. packed. That's fine. So let's take with X -Men, a sweet theme. Let's we're, let's. I'm going to eliminate X Men the animated X Men the animated series. Shit. As opposed to X -Men, Batman the live yeah. action series. Yeah, you don't get to yes. Batman the animated series is out. What is your favorite? It does it comic show or can it be cartoon? A movie? Comic book cartoon. Spider Verse also. Teenage is out. Mutant Ninja Turtles. Nice. That's it right there. That's nice. That's a that would that that's would actually good probably be that would beat Batman that, for you. That might beat Batman for me. Um, yeah, that's fair. It might. Uh, it might. I'm trying to even think. Justice of, like, League ones that is I... up there for me. I love. Have any of you guys Justice seen League. Young Justice? Young Justice is so good. Oh yeah, I haven't seen that's it, but I <gasps> assume it's the best. It's so good. And then Teen Titans. Teen Titans. Teen Titans, go. No, not go. I watched that with my knees. Go is like a crossover but, between... Yeah, I haven't doing, watched it's go. Teen Titans, go versus Teen Titans. And, and I heard of that Monday. Monday. Like, great. I've now only I been watching watch like the digital movie. beforehand. Oh my god. You need to watch the first Teen Titans. It's incredible. I mean, I can. It's, you have DCU. I know. I never use it. 
So that <laughs> Cole's bored. I only use it. For, <laughs> I only use it for comics. Um, Teen Titans, Young Justice, Justice League, um, Spider Man, X Men. I like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I remember watching Transformers. I wasn't um, Transformers. Uh, Mutant Justice Mutant League Unlimited. Mutant I mean, does Samurai Jack count? No, but it is a comic. No, yeah, it is. It's a comic book. It does count. Because that's Samurai like the Jack only one I'm thinking dope. of the thing we're excluding that I've like fully seen. We're only excluding one thing. Batman the Animated Series. And X-Men. No, I and Spider-Man. misspoke. No, I... You no. mis- mixing up how I said I li- I was just listing off other cartoons. Okay. <laughs> the only one that's excluded is Batman the Animated Series because no matter what Nick says, even though he would rank something above it, it is the best. I'm, definitively. It's hard for me to like go back and watch <laughs> I mean, I would, I would not, I would not die on that cross. I know, fairly. Um, I'm if I'm gonna watch, it, I only usually watch the DC animated movies. Okay. Because like it's really like I don't watch a lot. Of so TV. Batman the animated series would be your easy choice. After that, you're like I don't even know. I would probably pick like one of the Batman, like Batman animated movies. Okay, like Red Hood under the Red Hood. I still haven't seen it. Because, um, like, how about Mask Killing of the Joke? Phantasm. I saw a Killing Joke That's... in theater when that came out as a movie. That was really heavy, but it was awesome to see in a theater. Anyways. Uh, it's dark. Yeah, Phantasm was really good. Phantasm, yeah, that's... But mine, that's like the Batman we all just movie segue that back to Tom King. I remember Tom... from my childhood. Because he's is... bringing Phantasm into comics. When? What did you say? He's in Bat, Bat what vs. Cat. What did you Cat. talk about? Tom King. Really? My name's Todd. I'm Cole. I'm Nick. And that's it. See ya. Uh, what else were we going to talk about? We were talking about the Harley Quinn show. He hasn't seen it. Yeah, perfect. I'm really into Fruity Loops.